All right. What we got here is a 2013 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina. It has what appears to be no backlight, is what my customer told me. So we're going to troubleshoot this. No backlight. First, we're going to confirm that by turning the machine on. Hopefully, it's got battery power. All right, we got a giant whoop. We got an Apple logo there, so it has backlight and everything. So I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about. I'll cover this part up, but you can still see the progress bar. Still got an Apple logo. Hmm. Not exactly sure. Maybe I'll turn this up. Uh oh. Huh. Looks like the screen just went blank. Weird. Alright. Did it shut off? Do I have no backlight? Let's pull the bottom off. Oh. Um, nope. The, sp the fans are spinning. As you can see, the fans are still spinning. So the computer is still on. So maybe the backlight went out. Let's try. Hold this beast up. No, we have no image. There's nothing. The screen's not even being activated or nothing. Which is not... Not good. So we'll go ahead and power it down and try to turn it on again and see what happens. Alright. So shut it off. Try to shut it on. Turn it on again. Get nothing, no image. Check it again and see if it's just no backlight. Seems like we might have the typical problem of the graphics mucks not putting out GPU V core to our graphics card, which we can check real quick as soon as I can get my sight back from shining it in my eye, the light in my eyes. So we're going to check 
go ahead and check GPU vCore. This is our GPU, our external GPU right here in this area. We're going to check GPU vCore underneath this black um, cover. There's co big coils. Right now, our GPU vCore is zero volts, and it it should be like 0.9 volts. I want to say and we're at zero, so this might have a issue with the graphics mux, the U8900, as it were. We're gonna power it off again. Turn it back on, and this time we'll leave our positive probe on that GPU V core coil. The other one on this ground screw for the fan. We'll power the machine back on. Nope. Yeah, still zero volts. So we're not getting our GPU V-Core. This is a common issue. Um, I've repaired quite a few of these. We're going to go ahead and pull out this board. and see if we can't fix that. So looks like we just have a no image problem. So it's the computer is actually booting. You can hear the, ch the startup chime and everything. But... We're not getting a picture. First thing, unplug the battery. Oh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz. 8 gigs of RAM. Kind of a lower end. As far as retinas go. Wow, my tweezer's not working. What is going on here? I can't seem to grab a hold of that. Uh... Holy moly. There we go. Well, that was a pain. Super sticky here. Alright. And this is a 2013 Retina 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro Retina. So this is a real common issue on these boards. From what I understand, I've and I've fixed quite a few of them, so pretty confident that's what's going on. It could be other stuff. But fact that the GPU vCore power rail is not being generated or passed on to our graphics chip. It's not going to turn on. Our graphics anyway. The computer itself turns on. Oh, wow. This computer's never been messed with. Actually got a 15 inch retina that someone else hasn't touched already. So we'll go ahead and pull the board out of here. see any corrosion or anything so but I mean we'll look on the other side of the board and make sure I mean there could be something over there that we don't see that's
causing us not to have an image. Okay, that was kind of violent. Also, we're gonna kind of pop that guy out. LCD connector looks fine, doesn't look burnt or anything. DC inboard screws. Sometimes I forget this screw down here, so I'll show you not to forget that one. Right under here, under this. Under this. Come on, focus. Under that rubber thing right there, there's another screw. Don't forget to, to pull that one out because you go yanking on this giant logic board and it will break. Just pop that little rubber cap off there and there's a nice shiny silver T5 screw there. And just like that. We are rocking and rolling. Um, screw, battery, yada yada. Or undo our backlight cable. Okay. All right. Let's, were we forgetting something? We're getting a screw or something. I don't think it's this model. Nope. Not this model. It has a screw under there. Oh, there we go. Just kind of stuck a little bit. Geez, that was all kind of violent. A little violent. All right, we'll set this to the side. Head and get the microscope in the way. Guess it'd probably help if you powered the microscope on. this 0.45 uh, magnification adapter for my cam my microscope camera I really want the 0.35 so you can see more of the board as you can see about ha like less than half of what I can see I don't like that I have a 1x I guess I could use but I'd much rather have like 
a bigger field of view. There's our U8900. Chip right here. We'll zoom in on him a little bit. Let's see if I can't focus that on the solder joints. Kind of hard to see. That's weird because I'm like, I need to focus so I can see. <clears throat> yeah, and we'll pull the board off the edge of the table maybe and you can see. We'll see if we can see a little better. <clears throat> If I could find U8900. Oh, not even close. There we go. Is that you, 8900? Yeah, right there. Jeez. All over here, sorry. So I guess the solder doesn't look too bad. I mean, I barely even move and you can't even see what I'm doing. That sucks. Sorry. It's super blurry. I'm having a hard time looking at it myself. It's really hard to tell if those solder blobs are cracked or not. I mean, they don't look great. I think we can touch them up and make them look better. All right. <coughs> yeah, we'll we'll start with that. We'll start with touching up the solder joints on that guy. Now that you're out of focus. I'm in focus. Yeah, see, I can see the whole entire chip. And then some around it. You guys can't see anything. But anyway, all right. Let's get to it. We'll touch those solder joints up. And See if we can't make video come back. And stay.
Get some leaded solder here. Our output is up here at the top, I believe. It kind of looks like a bridge, but it's not. Clean the tip up a little bit. This one's going to be a little trickier because I'm right-handed, so we're going to move, move the board a little here. Alright, so that takes care of those, and now we'll just clean up all the excess solder that we put down on the test points. Make sure we didn't uh, bridge any connections. That would definitely be a bad thing. Go to sleep. Look, my uh, soldering iron is having a conversation with me.
All right. And if we don't see any solder bridges or any pins bridged together, so that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and slightly heat this area up with the hot air station so we can clean much more of that flux off. We're not going to melt the chip solder or anything like that. We're just gently heating this area up really quick. Get that flux reanimated. Alright, well, we will go ahead and check our progress and see if that helped, if that did the trick. And the reason why we do this first is because this entire center of the board, there's no, if you can look, if you, you look and you can see there's only mounting points for this board here, here, there, and uh, that's it. So there's like one over here, one over here, one here, these two, and then this little tab. Those are all the mounting points for this giant logic board. So. So this whole area, this whole entire area has no support under it whatsoever. So this giant board is prone to flexing. And in turn, it breaks the solder joints on that IC and makes it to where you um, have no video. And what I'm told from other videos and stuff is Apple solution though I've never seen it myself Apple solution is to put a piece of shoe uh, shoe rubber or put a piece of rubber like um, serrated rubber on it to help the case smash down on the chip Let's see if I can capture my solder job here, or my re-solder job, I should say. So there's, my camera's coming loose, but you can see that, I'm trying to focus. Yep, those are my solder joints that I just redid. Those things are so shiny that the camera is not really doing them justice. But, yeah, as you can see, we went ahead and re-soldered them. So now we're going to put the board back in the case quickly and test it and see if, if we get an image. I 
And if we, if the image stays. Where's that little stinker of a connector or um, cable? This guy. Oh, look at that. that. That was perfect. Kind of bent him up a little bit, but came out perfect as he should. I feel like there should be. No, there's no connector there. this and how annoying it is. in there too. One thing I hate about these boards, all these freaking connectors that they got. <laughs> Should have peeled that thorn that thorn thing off at the jump. plastic connector or plastic cover And we'll just throw a couple of screws, logic board screws back in just to make sure the board doesn't flop out while we're testing.
Because that would not be good. Screws. Those are f silly. You goofball. Plug our DC in. Plug our LCD cable back in. Gently. throw this one in here. Maybe the fan. Did I do that wrong? I think this one goes in there. I like to put double sided tape back on these things to keep them from flopping back over when I close the computer up. Just a little extra touch. Alright. Do the IO board cable. Uh, okay. You say so. Did I put it on backwards? I put it on backwards. What? <laughs> you don't really want to cooperate, do you? Maybe we'll just do. Won't bother with the camera and all that. All right. Put the SSD back in. Yeah, boards in there good enough. For testing. All right. We'll power this on. See if we continuously have an image oh plug the battery back in Our keyboard trackpad everything plugged in power it on and all right so power it on We got our Apple logo there. safe charger close to here yeah it's too far away don't want to move my hand while this thing's booting up otherwise gonna see the people's name or face or login excuse me come on did you get stuck I got a better idea oh never mind there we go
you know what I'll do? I'll boot into my my test SSD because then I don't have to worry about. To worry about um, people's names and stuff showing up because I don't care. So we'll do it. We'll do an option boot here. Hmm, I got a big sir boot. I forgot. We'll just do Catalina. go <laughs> well as you can see we now have an image our image is not going away yet Intel HD graphics 4000. 15 inch written early 2013. 2.4 gigahertz quad core i7. 8 gigs of DDR3. Alright, well, that's that's it on that one. Other than, other than running it through a graphics test for a little while and probably run it for a couple hours. And after that, I think we can call this one a fix. So that's it on this video. Um, yeah, till the next one. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. We'll see you. Take care.